Sup guys, so <clears throat> this is going to be a voiceover for a lower body session that I had on a Friday doing a primary deadlift day or a primary lower day for a hypertrophy uh, based programming in this case and uh, I started out with some conventional deadlifts um, I was really trying to focus on my form this time but I feel like I still didn't get it quite right I mean uh, it kind of weirdly felt good at the time, I think it's because of the bulk, but I still feel like I can't really get my upper back right, tight, with really heavy weight, I struggle with that a lot. Um, getting my lats uh, locked in, so I could get that upper back tightness and keep the form good, though I didn't like feel the fact that my upper back was rounding, which is weird. Um, but yeah, that's something I definitely need to work on a lot more. After this I just went into some Romanian deadlifts. Um, for hypertrophy obviously and I was stringing 125 kilos here with uh, for about set I think two sets of seven or if it was uh, four something like that I think it might have been four sets of seven but either way uh, I only recorded like one or two clips but here's like one clip of me doing them I um, don't have too much to say about these I find Romanian at least a little bit easier when it comes to keeping your upper back intact like it's easier to keep the lats back i feel like because you can just pull them back while you have the bar in your hands it's so much easier or when you're getting into position you can get the position right straight away from when you just lift up the bar from the rack i find it's a bit easier than pulling from the ground when you're at the ground it's easier to lose your form when you start pulling um then i went into some smith machine hack squats and again i just do these for the quads so that i can get uh quad separately hypertrophied so I can get those muscle gains so I don't have to um, fatigue my lower back anymore since those deadlifts are pretty fatiguing uh, the main deadlifts deadlift are a bit easier but the conventional of course is very fatiguing um, and that's really it I mean speed machine hack squats always a good option or a hack squat doesn't really matter either or works and as far as this training session goes, it could definitely isn't optimal in terms of a lot of things, but it's okay since uh, I don't really mind not having everything optimally. I like to have fun in my training as well, and I'm actually probably have either release or I'm releasing a video about it. Um, here I'm just doing some casts with 100 kilos. I've worked on my form a little bit on these. And uh, yeah, I th on this specific day, there was a lot of people at the gym fucking around. So I had, I had to cut some footage out, honestly, because people were just like messing too much around me. Um, and other people were recording as well. So that was that it was a pretty full gym that day. Um, with these calf raises, I don't really feel these the burn in my calves unless I do like a super set where I drop or drop set down to my body weight and then do these I don't really feel them that much even if I do like almost 20 reps and then I drop set I pretty much only feel it at the drop set and uh, here I was just doing some random flexing I don't know just checking my leg don't really record my legs much so the definition is decent but I think I would need to get like 10-12% body fat before I start seeing some definition in my legs anyways I'm really looking forward to ending this bulk and seeing what I actually look like after this bulk like when I'm like shredded though I don't think my arms will be big because my arms just are well bad but I guess we'll see my legs are probably gonna look pretty good and my abs and stuff like that anyways doing some hamstring curls um, just some isolation for the hamstrings after all the other work to get some extra work in and then I'm going into pull-ups I'm trying to do pull-ups with like really um, chest to bar as best as I can and trying to just focus on the form these are really hard doing the pull-ups where you pull your chest to the bar so I, I don't use any weight and again I've kind of just taken this approach from like natural hypertrophy and uh, other people who are I've been talking about like just not and I think it was Alpha Destiny or Alex Leonidas nowadays who was talking about um, doing pull-ups 
just purely with uh, body weight and you don't not needing weight because a lot of there's some like bodybuilders as well who have done like the guys who did like I don't remember his name anymore but anyways the guy who did like wide grip pull-ups and he was pretty famous for those um, and he had an insane back that one like uh, enhanced bodybuilder guy I think it was maybe it was Dorian Yates I'm not sure to be honest or somebody else either way after that I went into some shrugs um, here I'm just doing 160 kilos for shrugs I don't know about the form it's okay I usually I feel this form regardless in my um, traps pretty well though it can always be a little bit tighter and improved but either way these shrugs are there's nothing else to say I mean I just working on my traps here try to really keep focusing on the form and floor the weight on these a bit and trying to focus on form and that's kind of what I'm doing with everything it's just lower weight and better form that's my goal and here I went in some ab isolation I'm doing some uh, leg raise on the bench and then I'm doing obliques on the ground with a 20 kilo plate and a 5 kilo plate between my legs on the leg raises and my whole I do this I do abs every session and I don't do obliques every session maybe once or twice a week I do obliques and uh, that's just for recovery reasons and I find you defend in some variety with abs as well like maybe do sit-ups, hanging leg raises, uh, laying down leg raises etc. I do think ab isolation is pretty necessary if you want to get big abs because there's no way to get big abs without ab isolation and my abs have definitely kept their shape well on the bulk when I work at them all the time. <coughs> um, I also like to just like drop set down to uh, my body weight uh, after I fatigue with the 5 kilos so that I can get more volume. I do the same strategy pretty much on the obliques. I just like do the 20 kilo plate till I'm really fatigued and then I drop down to uh, pretty much just no weight and I just do my body weight till I'm completely fatigued and I think that works pretty well for me. You can pretty much leave these like I do three sets of leg raise and then two sets of these and that's it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough and uh, got something out of it. See you in the next video. Peace.